Tonight, a man is under arrest after breaking into a home on the west side being built by high school students. And you can see him here in this surveillance camera coming in that house, helping himself loading up the supplies. Marion County reporter Lauren Costick tonight shares what this means for that project's future. Walking into this west side home, it looks like any other construction project. It'll have an open concept kitchen and back here in the back, we'll have a master bedroom and bathroom. But really, it represents months of hard work by a group of high school students. The class is part of the Area 31 Career Center, which partners with nonprofit Indie Gateway to build a home every year. These houses are then sold to often first time home buyers. Um, in the community and also helping to revitalize the, the neighborhoods. But on Tuesday, they had an unexpected guest. <laughs> Surveillance video showing a man breaking in and filling up a trash bag of construction tools and materials. Five the minutes later, he away. darts right before officers arrive. The next night, he returned again, this time boldly knocking down two of the exterior cameras. <laughs> I felt very frustrated and very angry um, knowing the work that the kids were putting in this house um, and that someone is, is here to, to, to damage it in any way. You know, you feel um, I have a lot of ownership in this project and I know the students do as well. So Lisa posted the videos on Facebook and sure enough, within hours, police received several tips. Ultimately, the alleged thief was arrested and the stolen materials returned. It shows that, that a lot of people do care about this community like we do, and we're just very thankful for that. Now her goal is getting this project back on track, something she says won't be easy. But we think that um, we can uh, get this completed and on the market by summer. On the west side, Lauren Costick, 13 News. Well, hopefully the community can help them. And if you have any way that you can assist or interested in helping, you can find out more information about this nonprofit and the Career Center project online at WTHR.com right now. Let's make it happen. You bet.